Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome, welcome! My name is Ray, and if you don't know who I am, that is okay, because you can find out more about me here on all social media platforms. My skin type is oily, sensitive, reactive, dehydrated, and sometimes it can also be combination. Today, we are exploring the world of Round Lab. I don't think we need to introduce this brand too much because if you're watching a skincare review, you probably know about them. Round Lab is one of the most popular skincare brands in South Korea right now. Their sunscreen is rated number one for many years and we'll get to that in a minute. Birch, as you may know, is a type of tree. This tree is popular for its very nourishing sap and you can only harvest this sap once a year at the first three weeks of spring. In skincare, birch sap is a powerful anti antioxidants with vitamins and minerals to rejuvenate our skin. Because birch sap or birch juice has a tiny molecular structure, it can be absorbed into our skin very quickly. Another reason why birch juice is praised is because it is multifunctional. It can reduce inflammation and hydrate our skin. Round Lab's birch juice is extracted from Inje Village's silver birch trees. I do not know if silver birch trees are better, but I love that Round Lab is sourcing locally. Last Lastly, none of the products mentioned here today contains fragrance. On this channel, we review Asian skincare products so that you can shop with confidence. Today's video is partially made possible by Style Korean. Everything I say in this video comes from my personal experiences. If you have any serious skin concerns, please consult your trusted dermatologist or esthetician. With that being said, let's dive into the world of Round Lab. Let's go, Orikaja. Starting off this highly anticipated video, we have Round Lab's birch juice toner. This was my first time trying birch juice in a toner form. I was surprised by how lightweight it felt on my skin as a finish. The toner itself is on the more viscous side of toners. It actually reminds me of the texture of Pyeongkang Yul's Essence Toner. This is also an amazing toner that I have recommended on this channel many times before. My favorite types of toners are the ones that are simple and focus on hydrating. And this toner does that for me. As I said earlier, birch sap has a smaller molecular structure which allows it to penetrate our skin quicker and deeper. And this toner proves that claim to be true. It's a very fast absorbing toner that leaves my skin feeling supple and plump. I also love that this toner comes in a 300 milliliter bottle. Overall my experience with this toner has been nothing but positive. The best part about this toner is that it is simple and hydrating. This is an easy A plus for me. Also I want to let you guys hear the sound of this toner because it is so thick and you can actually hear the thickness of the toner. Do you guys hear that? I love this so much. Mm. Moving on to the next product, we have the Birch Juice Serum. At first, I was not sure how to react to the serum because it sank into my skin so quickly. And I was worried that this would not be hydrating enough for my skin since it does leave a matte finish. Like, you almost couldn't tell that I applied serum. But despite it being very light and airy, it's actually very hydrating and moisturizing. It contains artichoke and eggplant extract to help retain moisture and it also contains turmeric to help with any inflammations. I also noticed that the ingredients include several weights of hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid and birch juice actually have amazing synergy when paired together and this serum is proof that the synergy is real. What I love most about this serum is that all skin types will find it useful. It did not cause any irritations for me and my parched skin loves this serum. It's already drinking it up. I am serious. Serious, Round Lab is hyped for a reason. I tried so hard to find something I did not like about the serum and I could not find any. It's an A plus serum, so gorgeous, feels so nice on my skin, and surprisingly it has a very matte finish which you don't normally see when it comes to serum.
Brown Labs Birch Juice Moisturizing Cream is so nourishing, let's start with that. I've seen the TikToks and Reels about this moisturizer, but I thought they were just gassing up this cream. I know how beauty marketing works, so I was skeptical. My first impressions of this cream were not the best, because I thought that it would be very similar to Real Barrier's Aqua Soothing Cream or Tori Den's Soothing Gel Cream. Both are great moisturizers, but I also don't need duplicates of the same thing. But this moisturizer surprised me. When you apply this moisturizer on your skin, you will notice these little gel beads. And these are actually collagen moisture capsules. They hold in birch juice and hyaluronic acid to keep them fresh before bursting into your skin. I've seen these capsules being used before in various other moisturizers, and I love them. This cream also contains panthenol and a lot of plant extract that help retain moisture and hydration. There are also small traces of vitamin C in this moisturizer to revitalize the skin. For me, I did not find this moisturizer to be suffocating or pore clogging. This is a translucent gel cream that I consider to be light, airy, and refreshing. I think for dehydrated skin types who crave a thicker cream, this birch cream might not satisfy their needs. But for oily and combination skin types, this cream can give them the perfect balance of moisture and hydration. For me, this is an A plus moisturizer. It even comes with a spatula for a more hygienic use. This is Korea's best selling sunscreen. From TikTok to Reels, you have probably seen influencers talk about this sunscreen. But is it really worth the hype? Round Labs Birch Juice Moisturizing Sun Cream does check off all the boxes for me. It has no white cast, it has no fragrance, it has an airy finish, and it's non-sticky. This sun cream feels like a moisturizer. It goes on very creamy but melts into your skin very quickly. This is a chemical sunscreen but I think that sensitive skin types will enjoy it as well. It contains artemisia extract and chamomile oil to help with irritations. And birch juice and sunscreen is a perfect combination. While this sunscreen does not give me a white cast, I've heard other reviewers who have darker skin say that the first application did not give them any white cast but when they reapplied this sunscreen throughout the day, they noticed that the white cast started to appear a little bit more apparent because you are layering this sunscreen over and over and over again. I did not have that issue of course because I do have a lighter skin tone and if you're wondering if this sunscreen stung my eyes, the answer is no. So here's the thing, I know that this sunscreen is everyone's favorite but when I first used the sunscreen, I was reminded of another sunscreen. I'm talking about Be The Skin's Vegan Sun Cream. Yes, one of my holy grails. That sunscreen and this sunscreen have the same herbal scents and silky texture. And the only difference I noticed between that sunscreen and this one is that that one has a green tint and this one does not. Oh, and this sunscreen is a bit more expensive. I still really like the sunscreen, do not get me wrong, but I'm really glad that I finally got to try the sunscreen and now I know that it's very similar to Be The Skin. This is an A plus sunscreen for me. The hype is real and it is worth the hype. But I just want to let you know that in case you find this sunscreen to be a bit too pricey for you, there is another sunscreen that is just as good. I also want to talk about Round Labs Birch Juice Sunstick. This was not sent to me by Style Korean. I bought this with my own money. As always, make sure to swipe at least four times over the same skin area for effective SPF coverage. All right, I gotta say, I was a bit disappointed by the sunstick. And it could be that I am still using the older version. There is a newer version of the sunstick, but I haven't tried it yet. At least with this older version, I found it to be very sticky. If you are into the shinier and dewier kind of sunsticks, then this one is probably for you. For oily skin types, it is hard for us to use the sunstick because it is very heavy. I do prefer the width of the sunstick and how the balm glides on my skin. But other than that, it's not a sunstick that I am super happy about. I think Isn't Tree's Airy Sunstick can do the same thing that this birch juice sunstick does without the greasiness. Like I said, I'm not very impressed by the sunstick, so it is getting an A- minus from me. It's just not for me personally, but I feel like this sunstick is a great option for dry skin types. That is all for this video. I finally got to try Round Labs Legendary Sun Cream along with their entire product range. It has been one of my goals on the channel to review Round Labs Birch Juice line. Since everyone, and literally I'm talking about everyone in the skincare community has been hyping it up, I really needed to test them 
style to see for myself. Thank you, Style Korean, for making this experience possible for me. 감사합니다. Sound off in the comments below. I want to know if you've ever tried Round Labs Birch Juice product range. And if you have not, let me know which of these products you are most interested in trying. I will leave all the product links in the down bar below for you guys to check out in case you guys are interested. Please help this channel grow by subscribing and sharing this video with your friends. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Until then, be safe, stay hydrated, and most importantly, be gentle with yourself. I'm talking to you. I mean it. Annyeong. Come back for more. Chuseyo. Chuseyo. Chuseyo.